Hey, what's going on, y'all? So in this video, we're gonna be taking a look at the brand new NVIDIA Omniverse Machinima update that they released today, which added audio to gesture. Now, audio to gesture is nothing new. It came out in audio to face a couple of weeks back or months back, but they just added it to NVIDIA Omniverse Machinima, which is the software that I use whenever I create animations with NVIDIA Omniverse. So with that being said, what is audio to gesture? It pretty much uses audio to create body animations, which is freaking crazy. All right, so here we are in the um, NVIDIA Omniverse Machinima. And if you go to animation, audio to gesture, you're gonna see that there is a new toolbar here and I'll just create audio to gesture. And it's gonna open up a new window here. And the first thing we need to do is actually create a base skeleton for this to work. So let's go ahead and click on this. And it's gonna take a couple of seconds. And what it's gonna do is create a person in T-Post, which is good. So what we'll do next is click on A2G offline pipeline and it's gonna build the Tensor RT engine. Now this is gonna be the first time that I am doing this, so this is gonna take a couple of minutes, but after that, it should be good to go. Okay, so we're back in NVIDIA Omniverse Machinima and RT sensors are already loaded up. And basically all we have to do now is make sure that the target skeleton is set right here, which is what we created, and then just click on Run A2G. Botters so do its magic. And, all. and as you're gonna see that the character here will now move with the audio. Let's go ahead and play it. The beige hue on the waters of the lock impressed all, including the French queen, before she heard that symphony again, just as young Arthur wanted. This, this technology right here is crazy to me because I'm looking at this right now, there's just so many applications you can use this in. Uh, more specifically, obviously, for the things that I kind of do, you can use this potentially for VTubing or you know, animations just talking like this because again, for you to just capture motion, get motion, body motion data from audio and use that same audio to generate facial animation using NVIDIA Omniverse Audio to Face, this is crazy, this is insane. I mean, obviously you can do a lot more as far as tweaking goes, the style, you can turn it up. You know, you can do a public speech, big gestures. So we'll try this, we'll try this one right here. And uh, let's press play. The beige hue on the waters of the lock impressed all, including the French queen, before she heard that symphony again, just as young Arthur wanted. So th this right here is, is crazy to me. And basically what my question was in video was, will we, will, will we be able to export this animation out? And, and that I'm still kind of waiting for an answer for because this is insane. Um, additionally, the other question I have is, can we use this audio to gesture and audio to face combined in NVIDIA Omniverse using the Relusion iClone characters? Because again, if we're talking about creating avatars, now you have body, now you have face animation, now you have character creator avatars, and you have a renderer. Again, just, just the potential of this technology right here is really mind-blowing. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Just a little bit of sneak peek on what audio to gesture is all about. Uh, with that being said, GTC keynote started today, and my goodness, that was a lot of good stuff. If you haven't seen it, go check out the highlights at least. But basically, RTX 4090 is already out. It's going to be about $1,600 for the 4090. It has 24 gigs of VRAM. Uh, it's going to come with DLSS 3, which is bananas. I really want to try this out. And apparently, this, this card will render a lot faster in Omniverse as well. So again, I want to see and test that out to see how fast it's going to be because I I actually think real time in Omniverse is already fast, but if you're telling me it's gonna be faster, <laughs> how much faster is that? So uh, a lot of cool stuff, like I said, if you haven't done so, go ahead and check it out. If you go to Omniverse Launcher and you go to the news right here, you're gonna see pretty much all the stuff they released. Uh, they talked about the NVIDIA OVX, which has like eight GPUs in it, freaking beastie. And then they have this amazing RTX uh, video a little cinematic that they created in NVIDIA Omniverse. Really, really cool. And I was told that this is going to be a playable game later. So more to come on that. It's really crazy. They just, uh, man, like they just got done with SIGGRAPH and now they have GTC. The keynote was probably the best one I've seen in a while, I guess, because there's a lot more stuff that I'm kind of interested in with animation. We got to see a little bit of DNEG's uh, VFX pipeline because you're using NVIDIA Omniverse when, in their pipeline as well. 
So if you haven't checked it out, go ahead and check it out. There's so much good stuff for this GTC. And honestly, the stuff that they, they released and talked about there, I think, are really, really interesting. All right. So if you have any questions, let me know. And like always, thanks for watching.